Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun project video, I'm going to show you all my preferred method of making custom picture frames for projects you make, like scroll saw portraits or just family photos, but really, really cool. Picture frames come in all varieties, shapes, sizes, and styles. This is just my preferred method of making them, and we're going to be mainly using the table saw and the router. That being said, keep in mind this is my preferred method. I feel safe doing it this way. I have never seen no one else make a picture frame like this. I've never seen it made like this on YouTube or anything, so I wanted to document it and everything. So if you see me doing anything in this video that looks unsafe or scary, please don't attempt it unless you are absolutely comfortable with your tools. I usually wear a lot of jewelry. I just have on my silicone wristbands and my watch in this video because the table saw and router are very known and prone for kickback and everything. I'm just going to go with a straightforward and common sense approach and be as safe as I can be while teaching you guys. I have a very nice scroll saw portrait that I finished a few weeks ago and I do want to add a frame to it and finish it real nice because I am going to take it in the house to hang it up. So with that being said, I'm not going to reveal the portrait right yet. We're going to take a 2x4 and rip it down to one inch square strips to get started over on the table saw. I already have a few more laying around from where I've made previous picture frames and also the custom keychains I make just in case there's not enough in this single piece of scrap 2x4. With that being said, let me move the camera off of the table saw, get it set up, get my mask on, turn the dust system on, and we'll get started. And over here on the table saw, we're going to begin by removing the rounded edge from the scrap 2x4 and then take the strip we did have on hand and measure to get our measurement for our 1 inch square strips and I will begin ripping down the 2x4 into those dimensions. Now the procedure I use here to make custom picture frames is going to be a little unorthodox and away from the norm. but. It's the way I've always made picture frames and they've always came out spot on and accurate and square. Once we get all four strips completely to the size we need, we will head over to the workbench and measure for the long and short side of the portrait. And I'm not going to show the portrait yet, I want it to be a surprise at the end. And then we'll head back over to the table saw and stack two pieces at one time to the miter gauge here at 45 degrees and I'll use some spring clamps to hold everything in place. And this is how I get perfect picture frames. It's not a real big secret but I use both sides of the miter slots on the table saw and I have always found that this just makes my miters extremely tight and accurate going back and forth here getting the angles cut for the 45s. Then I will go back over to the workbench and measure for the final miter cut and I will go back over to the table saw and I won't move the camera again but I did the same process that you've seen before by clamping it to the miter gauge with spring clamps and then I will come back over and you'll see that all my miters are tight and I will measure for the rabbit and we'll go outside to the router with a three quarter inch straight bit and once the depth is set I will proceed to route out the rabbit that will hold the portrait we're gonna mount in it. This is my grandfather's old very old Craftsman router and router table and it serves me well but I would like to upgrade in the future. Once all my rabbits are cut, we'll go back into the workshop and glue everything up with wood glue and a strap clamp. And I'll be generous with the glue here. I want to make sure I have good coverage. And I'll put the strap clamp on and get it secure and make sure everything is square and I will leave it here for an hour, hour and a half, I did other stuff out in the workshop while this dried. But then I came back and removed the strap clamp 
and double checked everything visually and went back out to the router which I have installed a roundover bit in now and elevated it a little just to give it a nice little decorative lip all the way around and we will route all the way around the picture frame now and then go over to the sander and sand any marks left by the old router table and then I will spray paint this frame before anyone naysays why I spray painted this frame black please view the final project at the end of the video and you'll see why I just think the black frame matched the picture I put in it but after this dried I hung it on a hook and gave it several coats of clear gloss clear coat for protection and the project was complete And here we have the completed portrait made entirely on the table saw and the router and it came out amazing. All my miters are nice and tight and snug and secure. Really, really cool. And then the profile we added really came out great. It took me around an hour to set everything up and cut it out. Then we had to wait for the glue to dry and then paint, clear coat and all. So a few good hours in this project. Usually when I make picture frames, I batch them out for two or three projects at a time since everything will be set up. But really, really cool for those curious. Here is the profile we went for. This was my test piece when dialing in the router off camera to make all the cuts. But really, really cool. Really, really amazing. Every picture frame I have ever made was made with the method I showed you here today. Once again, if any of the techniques or things I showed you in this video today scare you, please do not attempt them unless you are entirely comfortable and acquainted with your tool and you're comfortable cutting out and routing out small parts. I know it took me a long time to get comfortable. I'm still scared of the router at times because I've seen it kick back on people and it's just one of those tools that I respect and take a common sense approach to as well as all my tools out here in the workshop but really really cool really really amazing I had fun making this I hope you guys like watching me make it and maybe picked up a tip trick or tidbit and I know the curiosity is out there of what portrait is going in here and the reason that this picture frame was painted black I am gonna go on and slot the portrait in and fits nice and secure in there of course I will glue this portrait in and add a hanger to it but here it is. It is a steam locomotive portrait. I cut this out on the scroll saw. This is a Steve Good design, as most of the things I do on YouTube are. But really, really cool. And I think the black frame and the black background just really brings the industrial vibe that this portrait has to the forefront. The steam engine is heading out on its long journey from the yard. And really, really cool. Really, really amazing. I hope to hang this in the what I hope to be train room real soon. But really, really cool and really, really awesome. And you see everything there just fits nice and securely. And I just think you have better control when you do the strips and take them to the portrait and line them out and stack up your two strips for the long and short side and clamp them together and do them both at the table saw in one shot instead of something like a miter sled or something. I know a lot of people use those. Again, no one taught me this technique. This is something that was in my head and I put it to practice and I've used it ever since and I feel safe doing it. That is the main part of everything. But really, really cool. I hope you guys like this video. If you're new here, please subscribe to the channel and also follow me over on Instagram at Artisan Pirate. I'd really appreciate the support. Thank you guys for watching. That's about all for this one. Remember, as always, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. Stay safe in your workshops. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.